2013-05. Staff, if you will please present this case. Yes, sir. This is also a conditional use request, but this is for a proposed church in an R6 zoning district. The property consists of about a fourth of an acre, located at 625 East Gordon Street. This is along the south side of Gordon, about 550 feet east of North Troop. So the property contains an existing commercial building that has been there for a very long time. It has also sat empty for a very long time. Um, it is believed that this was once a commercial use from many decades ago, probably predating the city's zoning map and zoning ordinance, um, and it would otherwise have been non-conforming all these many years. Um, the applicant is proposing to purchase the property and convert the building into a church facility area. As you can see on the zoning map, it is all single-family residential zoning, with the exception of one property at the corner, of, it looks like Broad Street in East Gordon. Um, it's very much a residential area. What they are proposing is an institutional use, um, which often fits well into a residential area depending on certain conditions. Um, what makes this site a little bit more different and a little more challenging um, is that there are some pictures of the uh, subject property. There is no parking lot. Um, there's not even a paved driveway. In your packet, there's a site plan um, that shows proposed parking and access drive. They are proposing to leave a, a rear yard that's unpaved, but with eight parking spaces, with an unpaved driveway accessing the rear yard. Um, the total parking requirement for the property is 15 parking spaces. They're proposing basically half in the backyard. The other half would go along East Gordon Street, where there's existing on-street parking. We talked about this at the work session. There's a narrow strip of uh, pavement <coughs> along the side of the road um, that is underutilized, that is striped, in other words, it's not part of any travel lane, but it is set there as parking for the adjacent properties. Um, the church would be in what we call an infrequent use, three times or less per week. A city engineer has some discretion with these kinds of uses regarding not only pavement, but also on-street versus off-street parking. Um, so they're proposing to have half on the street, half in the rear yard. Staff is a little concerned about half of their parking being in the rear yard. Uh, without any form of pavement to support it, uh, particularly with the driveway along the west side. Um, therefore, as part of the conditions that you see, we are recommending that they pave at least the equivalent of a residential drive to extend from Gordon back to the rear wall of the building to take the wear and tear of those vehicles. Um, SAP is, of course, recommending approval, and it's with these two conditions, and I'll go ahead and read these to you. Number one, conditional use approval shall be granted for a church facility that utilizes the existing building only, with both on-site and off-site parking facilities as shown on the site plan. A minimum 10-foot wide paved driveway shall be installed along the western side yard of the property, extending from East Gordon Street to a point equal to the rear wall of the building. Number two, conditional use approval shall expire in five years if the church is not regularly operating by that date. Thank you. It is going to be just a drive. Yes, sir. It, no, sir. The, the engineering department is trying to exercise some flexibility given the nature of the use. Um, we thought about this long and hard. If they were to put in a conventional parking lot, um, that lot would be virtually all in public service, which we believe would be highly inappropriate in the residential area. Um, the alternative is to leave the property in a residential use. The building that's there is by no means residential. Um, and to convert it as such, I think, would be impractical. Institutional uses seem to be in the in-between. So an institutional use with, with a residential compatibility, I guess is the best way to describe it. That site plan that's on the screen in your packet, the distance between the building and the property line, I believe, is a little more than 20 feet. So this would be a narrow drive to take up a portion of that and really just to accommodate vehicles going to and from the backyard yeah. and also give, I think, some of the people some pavement to walk on getting around to the front door. Matthew, what the distance from the rear of the building to the property line is? Um, I'm just curious. Offhand, I don't know, I don't remember the number. Um, the applicant's draftsman is here, you could probably give us the exact number. I'm just it looks like 80 feet, if I can read the small print. The site plan in your packet, correct? <laughs> Any other questions? <coughs> from the yes. What is? The, what is the? Are they proposing any covering of the yard, or are they just going to use it as is? As, uh, is there any? Are they proposing to put any 
material like pebbles or nothing? They are currently not proposing anything. Um, in situations where the engineering department approves unpaid parking, um, they monitor the site, and if whatever they're using does not hold up, um, then they come back and require it to be fixed um, and paved if necessary. Um, but usually some materials will help hold up. It depends on how often it's being used and what portion. Mm -hmm. Some of you may recall a case uh, about three years ago um, over on Bay Tree Road for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Um, there was a similar situation that was not you know, frequently used for large crowds, but they had an existing unpaid parking lot and they went through a process you know, having it maintained in some areas that it had to be improved. Mm -hmm. It's a similar kind of institutional kind of use. All right. There being no other questions, um, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? with Cornerstone Design and Consulting did the initial um, design showing the parking on this property and they would like to just some clarification on a couple of things on the um, on the um, 10 foot wide strip the um, it use of less than three days three or less days a week right um, and they're saying, is it, is it locked? Has it got to be stone, I mean, excuse me, asphalt or concrete, or is there another impervious or semi-pervious material that could be used is, is the question that there. So the constraints of budget right now, it might be hard to pay this to get, to be able to get to into the property. It's something they could work on over the next year or two, but it's not, it be hard right now, is that basically? All right, the way the condition is worded, it's minimum 10 foot wide paved driveway. Right. That's typically asked for or concrete. Um, I mean, as approved by the city engineering department, but that would be a regular paved driveway. Um, if you're wanting some time to do that, then the commission may recommend a time frame in which to accomplish that. That is one possibility. Matt, is the consideration for a ribbon driveway, which is typical, you see that in the store, is that something that can be considered, which would allow the wheels to to be driven on the ribbon, on the, 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 you know, it's just two strips right. of concrete, basically, and... If, if you so choose, that might be another possibility. I think that might save on material costs. I'm not sure it's an overall savings, but it would at least look more residential. Mm -hmm. um, maintenance would be a different story. Mm -hmm. Is that something you but one thing to keep in mind, I mean, with the commercial parking lot and commercial driveways, those are built to a little different standard in terms of thickness and weight capacity mm -hmm. than a residential drive. The intent here is a residential style driveway, not a commercial one. That's right. I mean, otherwise, from what I understand, an unpaved driveway is permissible within the current um, comprehensive plan, right? It is permissible. But there is concern with the maintenance. Correct. And it's all at the discretion of the city engineer. Correct. Um, this is an area where you have one driveway that's taking all of the traffic mm -hmm. in and out of the rear yard mm -hmm. on that one stretch. And that's where the concern lies. That this, that little stretch of land is going to receive a lot of wear and tear mm -hmm. compared to the rest of the site. If, oh, no. Board, let's, let's let the uh, presenters present and then we'll have the staff answer the questions and then if there's any discussion we'll have that after after everybody's presented their cases. Okay. We'll clear? Mm -hmm. staff, you, I mean, other than other than that really, that's that's our main concern right now, that the other use of being for five years at the church isn't in operation and that's no problem. Well, but the first one is, is something that we have to look at. I'm Bishop Marshall from the Ministry of Electric Applied for the CPU. CPU, so. And we're, we're not a large church. And as far as the William Chair, we don't have a lot of members. But we are in a community. And we expect to grow. But one of the things we expect 
and there's, there's an elderly home, uh, uh, elderly facility across the street. One of the things is the people, we're going to try to bring back walking to church, as some of us may even know. I mean, you know, I'm sorry about it. But this is what we're trying to do. And the, the issue of the parking, we may not have as many cars as the city is projecting that we may have. Can I ask you a question? You said something about five years before it was used. I didn't understand what that was. Condition number two. Condition two. If the church wasn't in operation in five years, then it would lose its conditional use approval. Is that that? <coughs> What was your concern about that? We have no I, I said that was no problem. Oh, oh okay, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't I catch said what you were saying. I said the only problem we had was with the first one, not mm -hmm. a problem, but we're just seeing what we can do to work through it. Yes. The second one, there's no issue. Yeah, I, I think the issue is traffic going through there and getting mud and stones and putting it on the street and, and that sort of thing. It's... Are there any questions for the speaker from the commissioners? All right, the no, we appreciate your presentation. Is there anyone else in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in opposition to this request? And I'll turn the application over to the commissioners for discussion. Mr. Will? They could propose it if the city engineer would approve it, but the recommendation, and this is from planning and the engineering department, is to pay at least that minimal driveway. The rest of it could be unpaved, it could be milling, something else that holds up. If the grass does not hold up, then they'll be required to put something there that will hold up. I was just wondering if that would be a, a start. It would be like a base on asphalt. So maybe require temporary paving material for the first six months and then pavement. It's not that expensive, and, and that might be. If, if, if it was up to me and I was going to put millings there or a or a strips just to run the wheels on it, I'd, you know, I'd put millings in there. It would be a, a lighter surface. In there. That's the reason I was going to ask um, if that was something they might do. Like I said, okay, for the first two years or, or just a number. Use millings be something to definitely get started because I know how it is when you start a small church like that. So I will just ask your opinion on that. That would be one alternative you could explore. It's okay. Temporary material right away and a, a time a period in which to pave the driveway. Right. Mr. Chairman, I have one more question to the speaker. I'll, I'll give you liberty this time, one time to allow you to ask another question. Would there be a problem with millings? Do uh, you understand what I'm saying with millings? Yes, sir. Okay, that's it. Any other discussion amongst the commissioners? There being none, I will take a motion from the commissioners. Mr. Chairman, um, I would like to uh, make a motion that we recommend um, approval with the uh, two conditions with an addition to the number one condition that on the first two years they could use asphalt millings as a drive as proposed by the engineering department and at the end of that two-year period, it must be either asphalted or concrete paved at that point. So I recommend approval with those conditions with that. We have a motion by Mr. Willis with two conditions. You got a motion. Second. And the second by Mr. McClendon. Is there any discussion on this motion? Being none, all those in 
favor of this motion with the commission, please indicate by raising your right hand. All those opposed, have the same rights. Motion passes 5 <coughs>